Today's manufacturing reading shows that Beijing's policies to slow down the economy are working, but Premier Wen Jiabao, who's been the champion of those policies, may now be asking whether they're working a bit too well. China's flash PMI came in at 48.1 points for March. Anything under 50 means a contraction. Now, the worrying thing is that the manufacturing index has actually been under that 50-point mark for the last five months, and March's reading is actually the lowest in four months. So why this continued con contraction? Well, for one, domestic demand in China is still weak. Companies in the country just are not placing new orders fast enough to grow the manufacturing sector. The same goes for overseas demand, and some of that blame lies with Europe, China's biggest trading partner. HSBC forecasts that Chinese exports to Europe are going to contract 1% this year. As for China, the world's second largest economy will still see continued growth despite this PMI. Take a listen. This number is actually still consistent with growth around 8%. So we would have to see much worse numbers to, uh, for us to believe that this is a, uh, a crash of some sort. This is, in fact, by, uh, by, most, uh, by most interpretations, this is an uh, intended slowdown by the government, which has tight monetary policy last year, is deliberately trying to deflate the property sector. And these are the kinds of results you then get. Um, but I think it's far too early to talk about uh, a crash in China. And it's not just HSBC that's maintaining its forecast of a soft landing. Credit Agricole is too, at least for now. And those banks are also predicting some new monetary easing in the next half year. If not earlier, that could take the form of an interest rate cut or maybe a reduction in the capital reserves that banks are required to hold. Now, looking across the region, China's PMI seems like it didn't have much of an effect across the region. The Shanghai Composite had been down earlier, but it closed down just uh, marginally in the red. Asia's other big markets managed some small gains. As you can see, Australia's ASX 200 managed uh, to close up about half a percent thanks to gains in banking stocks. The Nikkei added about four-tenths of a percent after Tokyo announced a surprise trade surplus of nearly $400 million. And the Hang Seng also ended the session in the green, up about one-fifth of a percent. So it seems investors are not too concerned about China's PMI for right now.